What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today I'm just going to be playing some Royal Giant, uh, specifically the Royal Giant Monk variation with the Phoenix because and Mother Witch. Because this Royal Giant deck is super strong. Um, I've been kind of looking around honestly to see which RG deck is the best in the meta and this deck was like kind of popping up for the best variation so I was like um, might as well try it, you know, because if it's one of the best decks or Royal Giant decks, um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and play it, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, um, and hold on. I just missed the goblins. Oh my gosh, that's kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and he's gonna freeze as well. Okay, I'm definitely going for Royal Giant here because, and he's gonna take a zap. Dude, this guy has like zero elixir. If anything, he has negative elixir, bro. Like, come on now. And look at the monk on the right-hand lane. It's just completely demolishing the tower right there. Just, oh my gosh. This is perfect. So, yeah, I don't really even care, bro. Take that free spell if you wanted to. Um, Yeah, that just kind of... um, That honestly played out for me in the long run. So, I'll definitely take it. But back to what I was saying about this deck is it's super strong and it has mother witch and i'm assuming because of the goblin hut spawner deck with the graveyard that's the only thing i'm assuming why you know um this rg mother witch deck is super popular just because of that deck so yeah if you're gonna play rg just go ahead and slap a mother witch in there because uh of that reason you know what i'm saying so yeah I'm going to quickly drop another Royal Giant over here. I'm going to take a Fireball as well to kind of make him play a little bit more for my RG. He's going to go ahead and play a Mega Minion and a Valkyrie. And a Tornado. That's what I'm saying, man. Just I did that Fireball. He has to overcommit a ton of Elixir now. Let's see here. Okay. Use that to pull the Lumberjack quickly drop a royal giant right there and there's really nothing he can do anymore um i really don't see a way from him to defend this anymore so that's going to be a really nice game for me right there absolutely perfect game um i'm pretty sure i've matched up anyway um yeah it didn't seem that hard of a matchup to be honest and it didn't help him either that he was super aggressive in the beginning so yeah let's go ahead and jump to the next game All right, here's the next game. And I got Mother Witch, Royal Giant, Fireball, and Fisherman. Honestly, I haven't made an RG video in so long. So now that I'm doing it, I'm, I might be a little rusty to be quite honest with my micro interactions. So uh, it's not the end of the world to be honest. Maybe just I might just take a, a little bit more damage than intended and stuff like that. So um, yeah. So I'm going to go for Mother Witch down low, plus a Phoenix right here. Okay, that was a really nice catch against the Miner right there. And really solid defense. Really solid defense. I think I'm just going to play a Monk right in front of this stuff because um, he's pretty aggressive. And I got, a, I got a couple Piglets, man. You know, I got a couple Piglets on the loose. <laughs> got Barbarians, though. I was not expecting that to be quite honest with you. I was not expecting barbarians at all. He's gonna zap, but he doesn't have anything that good in cycle for the goblins. And look at the damage from the goblins. Look at the damage from the goblins. Oh my gosh. They pretty much just solo the tower, bro. Those two elixir goblins just put they dude, I don't even know what to say, bro. They're just so strong. They need a nerf, they really- I know this guy has Inferno Dragon by the way. Um, I'm just gonna keep applying some pressure though, cause why not? I'm gonna play a Fisherman because he's literally at zero elixir right now, so uh, yeah. Let's see here, so that tower is now gone. I'm just gonna time my monk a little bit so it triggers, or you know, the Inferno Dragon locks onto it a little bit. And I think I'm just going to let the left hand side tower go. There's really no reason to play for it. And he's going to play Barbarians too. So I think that's a misplay on his end. Because now he has like no good answers for my Royal Giant. 
To be quite honest, it didn't really matter to begin with because I had Fireball, so I could just nuke the barbs if he played it. But, um, let's see here. It's gonna Lava Hound. I'm just gonna Fireball that away right there. Quickly drop a Mother Wish to DPS down this Lava Hound real quick. And, uh, I'm gonna be, be chilling, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be chilling. Okay, he's gonna zap that. I mean, it didn't really matter anyway, to be quite honest with you. The game's over, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think this is another good matchup for me, I want to say. Um, because my Fireball gets so much value against the Barbarians. If I had Lightning, I would say it would probably be in his favor. Because I would have no way to break through Barbarians. But Fireball pr clutches up a lot in this matchup. So let's go ahead and jump to the next one. Alright, here is the next game. I got log. Okay, well, yeah. I'm just gonna fisherman right there. That should get key activation. I was gonna say my hand, but this guy just went so aggressive, man. I couldn't I couldn't even finish my sentence. Okay, he's got skeletons as well. Mmm. I think this is probably 2.6, to be quite honest with you. So um this is definitely looking like 2.6. Oh my gosh, he just missed his firewall. Wow. This matchup is honestly amazing for me, to be quite honest, because Monk gets so much value. I could just play Monks in front of my Royal Giants, just like this, and uh, just let it go to town, bro. It's gonna let it go to town. Look at this. Look how much value the thing's getting for me. Just completely shut down the Musketeer with ease. Look at that, free damage, bro. Free damage. All day, every day. Yeah, that basically already like just gave me the win. I'm not gonna lie to you right there. Um, so I'm gonna be chilling out, you know? Not much else to say about that, man. Monk just basically won me the game right there, so um Probably gonna play another Royal Giant. I think this guy just gave up. Never mind, he's still playing. Was not expecting that to be quite honest with you. He's still playing, man. He's still playing. Um, let's see what he wants to do here. I'm just gonna wait a little bit in this goblins, this musketeer. Camel okay, fisherman in the middle right here. Go for a phoenix in the back here. Um, all I could really do was just like play monks at the bridge if I really wanted to, so. Yeah. yeah that's a pretty good play on his end, I guess. Okay, he actually played that really, really well. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was not expecting that. He played that really well. Okay, he's still gonna need to play that. Yeah, so that cannon is gone. Oh, I thought I was gonna get another shot. But this is basically game. There's nothing he can do anymore. I feel like I keep saying that, but um, it, re it really is game, you know. Unless some miracle play happens. Okay. That was actually pretty crazy. But uh, I don't think it, it really matters, you know what I'm saying? So, um... Uh... <clears throat> yeah, that's game. GG's! Let's go ahead and jump to the next game. Alright, here's the next game. Okay, I'll just Mother Witch that. Good Mother Witch value. And he's gonna play Fireball, so he's got Fireball as his spell. And Bats. Minor. I don't really know exactly which deck this is, but uh, yeah. I'll be I'm gonna be chilling out. I'm gonna be chilling out here. Okay, he's gonna mighty miner that. I'm gonna fisherman these wall breakers, just so I could prevent any kind of damage right there. And uh, I'm pretty sure this guy has a building in his deck, right? So, um, he's either got, like, Cannon or Bomb Tower. One of those. One, either Cannon or Bomb Tower. So, um, what I want to do in this matchup is just, uh, Royal Giant to back a ton. 
Okay, I'm just going to goblins these wall breakers, and now I can just safely royal giant the back because he has no good answers to really punish me because he just used his, like I said, his wall breakers, so um, I can't really get punished for this, and uh, not really much of a threat even if he does go in, so um, I'm kind of chilling. And look, I have a pretty decent elixir advantage, so it was, it was a pretty good play, and this guy's got a cannon, so yeah. Let's monk the front. I tend to monk the front if they have a lot of things that um, are susceptible to the monk ability. So if they play like cannon, you know, or they play musketeers, flying machines, just monk in front of the royal giant. And uh, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna fireball that. I don't wanna get too fancy with my defense, I just wanna play it safe. I'm gonna log these goblins too. Okay, one goblin slipped by, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna RG the back again. Let's roll another push. Okay, I'm gonna fish him in the middle, probably Mother Witch low. He's probably gonna fireball this for sure. Yeah. Uh, this monk in front again, because it's a pretty annoying play against him. Pop the ability too, and yeah, look at that. That's perfect. Fisherman in the middle. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Play some goblins right there. Um, I'll just let that go, honestly. Nothing too crazy, I'll just let that go. Play RG. This should basically be game. Yeah, I could just fireball the tower, the cannon. That should basically be game. So, uh, really good win right there, honestly. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll do more videos in the future.